hand-cut onion rings, brick oven pizzas, and a deep-fried marshmallow are just three reasons you need to go to the 1750 Tap House. Located in Bedford, New Hampshire, the 1750 Tap House is a family-friendly spot specializing in classic comfort food in a setting with a comfortable mood. We like to tout ourselves as kind of a neighborhood meeting place. We have a full from scratch kitchen. We also have a brick oven pizza area, 20 draft lines, as well as 30 bottled and canned beers. We've got a lot going on. We've got something for everybody and we love our guests. So we want you to come in. We want to take care of you and give you the best experience that you can possibly have. That's general manager Tracy Smith, the friendly face you'll usually find working the room, making sure everyone is happy. So how is everything today? And the menu also aims to please, no matter what you're craving. It's definitely something for everybody. We've got some standard pub fare on there, but even our standard fare, we kind of do it with a twist. So uh, we've got steaks for those that want a little bit more of a higher end, and then of course our pizzas, which appeal to everybody. In fact, a pizza is a must order for every table, cooked in a brick oven that greets you right at the door. There are standards like the simple yet satisfying margarita, and gut busters like the Tap House Special, a pie with a little bit of everything. The Tap House Special has tons of vegetables, tons of meat. It's very full. It's a very busy looking pizza, but it's one of our most popular. Other crowd pleasers to kick off your meal include the 1750 nachos piled high with toppings, tater tots smothered in beer cheese with crisp be bacon and scallions and addictive wings in a tropical jerk sauce. The Caribbean jerk is this complete juxtaposition of flavors. You've got the heat from the jerk and then you've got the sweetness from the orange juice. So it's just a really, it's a great combination. But the real showstopper of the starters are the beer battered onion rings. We use jumbo onions that we hand cut ourselves. Most of them are, you know, baseball size ones that we do hand batter, use our beer batter for that. And we really went through a bunch of these to make sure we had the perfect recipe. One bite and you'll be hooked. You're going to get the crisp of the breading, you're going to get the snap of the onion, and it's just an explosion of flavor in your mouth. If you want something handheld, the 101 Burger is a great option topped with mushrooms, one of those beer battered onion rings, and plenty of Swiss. And you'll have a tough time choosing between the two lobster rolls. We have the best lobster roll. We use fresh clawed knuckle, and we have a nice little tail right on the top of it. You can get it both ways. Um, you can get it hot and buttered, or you can get it with our tarragon AOA um, served cold. It is a full half pound of lobster, and it is on our buttered brioche. It's delicious. There are pasta dishes like the ricotta ravioli topped with mushrooms and a rich marsala cream sauce and creamy, dreamy mac and cheese. Our mac and cheese is a three cheese blend and our chef puts uh, shaved truffles and a little bit of truffle oil in it just for a little bit of a different taste. It is a must try. Beautiful baby back ribs come slathered in a tangy house barbecue sauce. And if you're looking for the ultimate meal deal, get yourself the steak. Our pub steak is a 12 ounce uh, pan seared steak. It is topped with a goat cheese compound butter. We cook it to your liking and it's a good size steak. It's served with our mashed potatoes and our vegetable. So for $22, you're definitely getting a good bargain. And whether you have room or not, you shouldn't miss dessert at the 1750 Tap House with creative sweets like the churro waffle, deep fried, tossed in cinnamon and sugar, and then stuffed with ice cream. Or for something over the top, treat yourself to the fried marshmallow. They're jumbo marshmallows. Marshmallows. They get dipped in our beer batter, deep fried on a skewer, and then it is topped with chocolate sauce and our house made bacon bits. So you get again the crisp from the beer batter, and then you get the gooiness of kind of a, a, a s'more type of marshmallow. And then you get that super awesome bite at the end with the bacon in it too. There's a lot going on with it. And whether you come for the dinner, dessert, or the downright friendly atmosphere, you're going to feel at home at the. Yeah.